There we go. What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Sunday 6 uh, pack opening and chill. We got our iced coffees. We got Pokemon on the background. Thought I'd throw on some, uh, some tunage in the background as requested from the last episode. So, I mean, hopefully I don't get in trouble for playing some Pokemon in the background. There's no audio for it. Um, keep the same music playing as usual. But today, folks, we got a three pack of battle styles opening today with the promo Eevee and a special little Rayquaza coin down in the bottom there. Um, if you watch my TikTok or my Instagram story from this morning slash last night, I posted it kind of late, so if you guys are watching it this morning, I did a two out of three booster pack opening of the battle styles as well as well. So we kept that guy because I pulled nothing on that. So if I'm going to get some last pack magic, we're going to save it for the third um, booster pack out of that three set there. Save that for last. So we're going to open this boy up today first. But uh, we're going to chill for a couple minutes. Let a couple people pop in first. Checking on our stats. Let everybody get comfortable. Refill your iced coffees. Mm. Cause it's it getting hot. It getting hot out there. So like no more no more hot coffees for me, unless it's like that that, that evening eight o'clock hot coffee when I'm doing a nice little uh, evening game set. You know what I'm saying? So let's just check in on everything. Make sure everything is running smoothly. Everybody is doing good. Everybody's comfy. I hope everybody is having a great Sunday, just like me. I had a great sleep last night. Great sleep, great morning cuddles with my nice little kitty boy, and uh, the iced coffee's good. It's not raining out there, you know, it's a, it's a little breezy, but you know, it's, it's chill. It's chill out there. It's nice. So, go for a nice little uh, Sunday adventure after and see if I can find some more packs. Because this is all I got. I got a three pack of bottle styles, and I got a nice little random booster pack. Because again, if you watch my TikTok from last night or my Instagram story, I pulled nothing. It was horrible. Two non-holographic rares. So I'm like, well, there's, there's got to be something. There's got to be some like a, a V, anything in this pack. So I'm gonna save it for last. I'm gonna save it for last. But this this is gonna be the last pack magic. We're still looking for the full art alternative um, Tyranitar V. The uh, the after picnic fat belly time ran at par. That's what we're really looking for. That's the big money for a big donation, hopefully. Or we are looking for the V Max big bears, as always. I did manage to build um, my deck actually, my single strike Earth Street deck. Um, I left it downstairs. Maybe I could have showed that off. Well, we'll save that for the next turn because if we pull a big bear. Um, not like the, like the valuable ones, but you know, maybe like the, the regular art VMAX, maybe I'll play, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, because they're not that valuable, and I would love to be able to play a VMAX in a deck, so we'll see, we'll see how the pulls go today, and then, um, we'll go over the deck next week. So let's go ahead and get this guy open and figure out what packs we be opening today. Let's get those nice and straight. Get it nice and shiny. Ooh, let's get ahead and get rid of this cardboard and the plastic. Let's get these booster packs ready to open. Because I know we are going to pull some fire as we did last Sunday with my first ever base cam Pokemon pack opening, which was really successful. So that's why I'm doing it again. That's why. I we got the Poke Wrap going right now. Sick. Sick. I remember as a kid, I used, I, that was, I guess, we'll say the first rap song I knew all the lyrics to. I owned the, um, the blue cassette. I can't remember the name of the cassette, but they had a Pokemon soundtrack, we'll say, for the first, first two seasons. And it had the entire Poke Wrap on it. And I, rem I memorized that rap. Um, so we got a nice little Eevee promo card chill in here as we get in all of our nice 
three pack blisters. There is a code card. I love how that shows up nice and the right way for you guys. I'm checking on the stream here. That code card is for the Eevee promo, so I am happy to give that away to one lucky sick viewer. So get it. Oh, there's some there's glue on this. You guys see this uh, a bad glue chip on this coin? It's the first ever. It's what is that? Oh, that's where it, I guess like it was hung on like a sheet of coins before it was cut. It was a bad cut. Ah, it's sharp. It's sharp. Okay, well, I got plenty of coins. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one. Okay, so we have uno, dos, tres, cuatro. We have four battle style pack openings to do today, which I mean, I guess is half of an ETB Elite Trainer Box, which if it's not a special series like Shining Fates, it will have eight booster packs. So we're gonna be opening all four today. Forgot if you guys haven't tuned into my um, one and only nail paint and chill sesh, this is what my chat made me do. I, I decided on the purple, no, no. It wasn't me that decided on the purple thumb. I decided on the pink pinky because it was a little bit of a slow start and then it worked up to this artistic masterpiece so thanks chat for making the nail sick as always let's get a nice little sip of this ass coffee before we dive into any more booster packs everybody started to tune in how's everybody doing this sunday we got pokemon in the background it actually looks pretty good on the stream nice and clear like there's no blur lines or anything it looked cool i like it i just hope i don't get in trouble for it we'll see We'll see. So I'm gonna leave it up to the chat. What did you, I totally forgot what was gonna, what was that last pack magic? That was gonna be one of these Tyranitars, but there was another Tyranitar, so we'll have to see. Hey, Atomic, and thanks for the follow. We got a live follow 14 minutes ago. What up, Atomic? Welcome to the sick Sunday, uh, oh, come on, pack opening and chill. We're doing some battle styles today. So I am leaving, I always leave it up to the chat now, what order the packs are gonna be opened in. So we got two time random cards, and we have one of each of the pairs. We got a single, single strike and a rapid strike bear. So I'm gonna leave it up to the chat. What do you believe is gonna have that first pack magic to get this episode really bopping? What's gonna, what is it gonna be? I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not good at the whole random, Wait, I'm not that good with weight. Two Tyranitars, two bears, one of each style, what am I opening? What is gonna be the true first pack magic? Personally, I think it's gonna be, I want to do one Tyranitar. Oh wait, can it be bear too? Which one? All right, we're gonna leave it up to the bear himself. I'm gonna start with a bear. Is it gonna be single or rapid? Am I opening first? Leave it up to the bear. We're gonna open a bear pack first. Single or rapid? Where, where am I going with this? Rapid? We going rapid. The bear calls the rapid for the first pack magic. All right, bear, this one is for you. Oh yeah, let's go. And oh wow, we got a nice little handful. Welcome everybody. This is gonna be some first pack magic. We're doing battle styles today. We chilling, we watching Pokemon in the background. Ooh, that's a white code card. That's a white code card. Let's flip it up. Let's get that for one lucky sick viewer. Get it. That because it's gonna be gone in three, two. She gone. One, two, three, four. From the back. For energy, what am I? What am I guessing? It's a rapid strike bear. I want to call water. I want to call big water. Alternative art or food today. Let's. Okay, we got the green. We got some grass. First pack magic for the bear. Let's go, everybody. All right, we got, 
I forget your name. The dot. Look, we got the dots. We. Oh, I, I should. I'm still not sure which way I should hold my cards when I do it. Face weighing like this. Okay, we got we got the dual swords. We got the pig knights. We got Glagar. We got the Spoink. Bronzor. Ooh. We got Tep. Pachirisu. Ooh. There goes a couple cards. There is the Heat More. Oh, I, 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 I told it, I didn't, I missed the reverse hollow on the heat more. Oh, let's go. Bear called it. Alternative art time, right? At time. Let's go. First pack magic. Oh, baby. Baby. It's not the fat time, right? Oh, cool. You, you, bear, you call. What a call, folks. Look at that first pack magic. Let's go. I knew I was going to pull something good. I knew I was going to pull something good today. Oh my god, it's beautiful! Woo! Thanks, Bear, for the love on that first pack magic. Look at that. She's a stunning beaut. Let's sleeve her up. Top from bottom. I'm looking at the centering. Look at that centering, though. Okay, it is a slightly, slightly bottom heavy. Just slightly, but the corners are round. There's no whiting. There's, ooh, sheesh. Is that another card to add to the gradable set? You know what? Let's. I do always have one hard sleeve put to the side. Yeah, we're gonna hard sleeve it for now. We're gonna hard sleeve it for now. Un unless we one up it, we you, there are only two ways we can one up it is pulling an alternative art, full art bear, or the fat uh, other alternative art Tyranitar, because we already pulled one alternative art, full art Tyranitar V, and we are only 12 minutes into the stream. Let's go, it's Sunday poppin', I love this. Oh my god, one more time. Folks, this is some fire. Big fire on the Tyranitar V. Woo! Wow. Wow. What a way to start the episode. Thanks, Bear, for that drop. He knew it. He felt it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it to the next... Bear, you, you, nope, you don't even sit out on this one. we we got to leave it up to somebody else in the chat. Who... What do we... Oh, let's put this bear in the middle. So we got two Tyranitars. we got one bear. What am I opening next? Okay, I bet see a bear's gonna shut up now. He's on now. I'm gonna let Bear call the last pack magic though. If he's calling first pack magic, he's calling last pack magic. But what are we opening next? I'm gonna leave that up to the chat, folks. Two Tyranitars, one bear. What is it going to be today? I'm just gonna admire this Tyranitar for a minute, have a sip of my coffee. Beautiful, my god. Bam! But wow, like jeez. What a card. Three packs to go still. Oh, there's the first sheesh for my Tyranitar first pack magic. Bear had to say it first. Come on, Chad. What am I opening next? What am I? What are you feeling? Get those Sunday feels. Where are we sitting now on the Pokemon? Oh, they getting chased. All this the Beedrill episode. Ah, love this episode. I think after the stream, I'm just gonna continue watching the Pokemon. It's gonna be a Pokemon Sunday chill all day. All right, if nobody's saying that in a minute or two, 
I'm going to leave it up to the Bears. The Bears are going to be calling the good magic all day. Watch, they're going to be a good card. And this is going to be all gold right here. If the Bear calls the packs all day, it's going to be all gold up in here. All gold up in here. What is it going to be, folks? Two Tyranitars. One. Is it going to be on my... Am I going my left to right? Are we going left to right? Because I think this is the bear I saved for last. I mean, the, the Tyranitar V pack I saved for last. From the last. So we're going to leave it up to these two. Pick a Tyranitar on the other bear. On the other end of the bear. Okay. So the one I literally just said I was going to save for last. We're going to... Okay. Bear called it. We open in this one. We opening our next pack. Are we going to have one up it? Right here, right now, and pull the big, chunky, alternative art Tyranitar V. We got another white code card. We got another white code card. Let's flip it. Let that focus for one lucky, sick viewer. Get it. We're going one, two, three, four from the back. It is a Tyranitar pack. So I'm going to guess the um, Darkness Energy because we're pulling a. Ooh. We're going to pull some fire though. We're going to pull some fire. Second pack magic. Battle styles, folks. Let's go. All right. We got the Crodont. We got the Tower. We got the pur ugly, ugliest of the purrs. Timber. Where's that finder? We got Tepic. We got a Glamya. Silicobra. Bear feel good about this pack. We got off oh, Frillish. Reverse hollow. Okay, I, I'm gonna keep my eye open for them reverse reverse hollows. We got the carbine for the reverse hollow and for the rare. Ooh, holographic or beetle. Not a V, but you know I don't have this for the set yet, so that's a plus. A A. a. The nice perps on the ore beetle. I like that. Look at that artwork. Simple. And you know it's that's a clear orb. That's beautiful. I love it. Alright, so we'll slip that boy in a sleeve as well. Cause the setting and corner well mm, corners is not the greatest, but we'll sleeve it up anyways and slide it into the holographic binder. So now we got two packs to go. Two packs to go. Filling out the binder as always. You know we gotta fill it up. As always, folks, if any of these cards catch your eye, I always sell my cards on the Instagram. Um, it's the best way to get a hold of me. S I C underscore. If you want to check out um, all my that big valuable cards, like I'm gonna give this Tyranitar a beautiful photo shoot after this so tune in on the Instagram for the update on the Tyranitar V if she catches your eye and you want her right now hit me up on the Instagram I do check the DMs for those um, as always when it comes to a sale of the Pokemon cards half of it goes to a donation to the Canadian Mental Health Association so if you are a first time viewer to the sick cards channel that is what the channel is all about folks is me and the love of Pokemon cards, opening the Pokemon cards, having some Pokemon cards in the background, having my friends drop in on the chat, watch me pull some epic cards from the packs they choose for me to open. And then I make the sale and make a great donation. Well, the best donation that I can. So I baby all my cards, I'm gonna get them graded, and half of it is gonna be a donation. That is my contribute to, to uh, society, uh, a way to give back, for a great cause in my eyes, especially during the pandemic, I believe 
that everybody is going through some troubled times. We're all trying something new to cope. This is me two months of streaming. So this is this is the way I've coped with the pandemic is stay inside, stay safe, get over me being camera shy, grab a nice coffee, chill with my friends, and let's open some Pokemon. Have a great time and chill. So once I do make some great sales, I will be making that first donation into an epic vlog video. It will be posted, I guess, on my YouTube. So if you do, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube, folks, what are you, what are you waiting on? Click that button right now because if you are watching this on Twitch, it will be uploaded to uh, YouTube right after. If you are watching it on YouTube right now, click that like button, hit that subscribe button right now for more future pack openings and that future vlog donation video to the Canadian Mental Health Association. So once again, folks, my first time viewers, all sales of my epic Pokemon polls here, half of it goes to the Canadian Mental Health Association. So if you want to find great cards that are treated like a baby, like I, baby, like you can see this Tyranitar already double sleep in a hard case. She is mint, folks. So I will be getting them graded and half the sales from my cards are going to be a donation. Canadian Mental Health Association, folks, it's a great cause. So you want some great cards, give it to a great cause. Hit me up, Instagram, SIC, one more time, SIC underscore for all of them epic photo shoots of the big polls from the streams here. Rock on, everybody. I say we go ahead and get into some more Battle Styles pack openings. We got two packs to go. We are halfway through the pack openings. We got one bear left. We got one time Avatar. I want to leave it up to the chat. Folks, what am I opening? What am I opening right now? The bear already called the first pack magic. We started this stream off with some fire. Some absolute fire fire so this is what happens when what are we seeing smell sev what's up smelly boy he's calling tyranitar let's go had to hit him with it let's rock it welcome smell thanks for dropping in man i don't know if you've seen but yeah we pulled some first pack magic with that alternative art tyranitar v it's not that chunky big valuable boy but you know what look at Oh, eh, whoop. gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So we got Smell Paul asking for me to open this Tyranitar. Can we one up it? Can we one up, get some, ooh. The sickest of the sick pulls. Can we one up and get that fat Tyranitar after picnic alternative art secret rare right now? Cause the Smelly Seth calls it. A little bit of extra glue on that boy. We are three for three on the white code cards. Ah, let's get it popping, folks. Let that shine for one lucky sick viewer. It rocking. One, two, three, four from the back. So this is Tyranitar pack. Hmm, energy. I want to call the darkness. We haven't guessed the energy yet. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. We got a big fire. We got some big fire. Let's get a nice, good grip on the cards. Nice focus. Third pack magic. Three out of four battle styles, folks. Let's go. We got the oh, Haunt Crow. We got our camping gear. Let's get a little closer. Let's get a little heap more. We got the core fish. We got the Sandlet. We got the Rolly Cole. Esper. Shinx. Ooh, Reverse Hollow is a rare. It is our uh, Colossal. And for the rare, folks. Holographic Ante. 
That is some fire. So we don't have an Entei V card or VMAX card yet. I can't wait for the legendary dogs to have their Vs and VMAX cards. In my eyes, uh, Generation 2, the Johto League, the legendary dog trios are my favorite of the, I guess we'll say, sets of legendaries. And Entei being my favorite of the legendaries. Entei is definitely in my top 5 of legendary Pokemon. Well, mostly say because of the third Pokemon movie. Love that movie. Love this Pokemon. And she is holographic. What? That is some fire. So there we go. We got the smelly set with the good luck on the holographic Entei. Folks, let's leave them up top to bottom as always. I hope everybody knows why I go from top to bottom. This is actually a card trick I learned from the bear himself. Is when you put it in a hard case after, you're keeping the top clean. It's protected on all sides. There's no nothing getting in that sleeve. Nothing. Sealed on top, sealed on the bottom. It's what you gotta do. It's what you gotta do. Yo, Flix is paused. Oh no, we've been playing Pokemon for too long. Where my controller at? Hold up. Quick fix. See, where would I be without the chat? Thanks, Bear, for helping me out on that one. There we go. Resumed for you folks. We got Team Rocket doing the same thing. This is OG, so I gotta keep it with OG with the old artwork there. We got Last Pack Magic. Where'd the pack go? There it is. We got... Ooh. We got some bear. We got the big... I, I want to pull that single... I want to pull this. I want to pull the single strike Urshbu B Max right now. Because I did pull... I do have... Hold up. Hold up. Because I do have a big bear. I got a couple big bears actually. So we do, but they are both rapid strike. And if you tuned in to the beginning of the stream, I was talking about how I built a single strike bear deck. Even in the game, I chose with the single strike. So I want the single strike VMAX. We have the rapid strike VMAX. We have the rapid strike alternative art V. Let's get that single strike VMAX action today. Or we can one up and get that alternative. There's so many good cards we haven't pulled from this set yet. Last pack magic. It is the last pack magic because this is the last pack I have in my inventory. I need to look at my cards after this stream for next weekend. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing with my Pokemon streams now. Let's kind of do like a little quick schedule before we get um, into this last pack magic and wrap it all up. I want to leave Pokemon pack openings for the weekend because this is when most people pop in. Most people have weekends off. Sunday morning is a great time to jump in and chill and watch some Pokemon. Open some Pokemon. Chill with me. Sip some iced coffee. What time is it? One o'clock Pacific time. It's good. So if you're out on the East Coast, so four o'clock, I'm, you know, on Sunday we all chilling if we ain't working. What? The bear is smelling the ocean. He's calling an artillery? You're calling an Octillery in this pack. I swear if I pull a non-holographic Octillery for my last pack magic bear, I'm coming to get you. I'm calling Big Bear Magic. Big Bear Magic on this. I want, what, what are you guys going to think? What do you guys think I'm going to pull? Bear thinks I'm going to pull an Octillery. What do you guys think I'm going to pull today? What am I going to get for my last pack magic? What do you want to see for that last pack magic? What? card do you think it's going to absolutely make me go like run around this room? What card would make you lose your mind on stream if you pulled it? One card from the set. What is your favorite card from Battle Styles? Because I think mine is the, yeah, mine's going to be the VMAX Alternative Art VMAX Single Strike Bear. Yeah, that's the one with the big red background. I love that one. That is what I want to pull right here, right now. That's my favorite. 
Let's go ahead and get it popping, folks. Let's get some last pack magic. Whew. I really hope I get some last pack magic here. But even if we don't... God. First pack magic. Look at... Oh my god. We gotta remind ourselves what we already got today before we get into that last pack magic. Okay, we got a green code card this time. Who knows? Who knows? Who thinks I'm gonna pull some epic from a green code card? Get that, get all the letters ready. Focus nice and close. Good, got it. Two, three, four, from the back. Who? I'm gonna call fighting, because I want the big bear, the big single strike, big punch and bears. Woo! Okay, okay. We got the energy. We guessed the energy. We got an epic pull. So far, good stream. We go and let's get it popping, folks. Last pack magic battle styles. Let's go. Eat more. Hey, we got Cheryl. Tower of Darkness. Sizzlapede. Ball toy. Timber. Oh, oh. I'll be back up there. Corefish. Cacnea. Alright, reverse hollow is Esper. Folks, last pack magic for the rare. It's a victory bell. Non holographic. It wasn't an Octillery, but it's not really that epic. I mean, I don't think I, I don't have Victory Bell. Even for a non-holographic, I don't have them in the set yet. That's a really nice artwork though. I mean, I wish it was holographic, but it's beautiful artwork. Victory Bell is still one of my favorites, mostly because of the anime when James gets a Victory Bell and is just eating him up all the time and screaming. I love his sound. It, I won't do it on camera because it will probably deafen half the people if you're watching it with a headset. So, I won't do that to you. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I haven't pulled this yet. So, we have a bunch of Weeping Bells and Bell Sprouts in the set here because I actually redesigned my entire desk. And last night, I was up pretty late. Not gonna lie, setting out all my uh, sets I've opened recently. Like this is my Shining Fates opening. This is the bulk of Shining Fates I've opened. And then this is the bulk of Battle Stars <laughs> I've opened. So I do got a couple of Bell Sprouts and Weeping Bells in this stack here. Surprisingly, I don't have a Victory Bell yet. So that's a first. Can't complain with a first ever. I sure can't complain when I pull the best first pack magic I've ever had on this channel. One more time for that full R Tyranitar. Oh my god. We can't get over it, so we did get some fire today. That's all my packs. Um, what I usually do. Because of the last uh, couple of episodes, people have been calling for the codes. I'm going to go over the codes one more time at the last, at the end of the episode. So if you are just tuning in and you want them codes, they're not used up yet, hopefully, because it's only a 33. We're only in this for half an hour so far. So one more time for the code cards, if you missed out on them. Because I do check and make sure they are all being used. They are all being used. So, thank you for actually using them. And I hope everybody gets sick pack openings because we all know that when you um, do pack openings on the trading card app, you get way better pull. The pull rate is so much better. Before I started doing streaming, I opened a couple of packs and I did get a couple of... Like, I put all the codes in my trading card app because I still play, and I got fire on my app. Absolute fire, but I've had the app since the beginning, so I got a good collection. I'm going to give all my streaming pack codes out to you folks. So, make sure you have your app ready for the next episode. Have a pen and paper ready. 
for them coats. You got to be quick with it because we got to keep the stream flowing for everybody else, you know. But we'll do it. We'll do a recap at the end of every episode on the code cards for you folks. Make sure you guys are getting the codes. And yeah. Let me know what if you guys got some epic polls. Drop it in my Instagram, SIC underscore. I want to see all the epic polls, uh, polls from my codes that I posted for you guys. So I think it's time to go ahead downstairs and strike a pose with this Tyranitar and get her shining. She's beautiful. I want to get like the proper angle on it. Nice and centered. Focus. Oh my god, just one more time on that. We also did pull two other holographics. So, I mean, when it came to the white and green code cards, it actually... Yeah, they it worked. So the white code cards, I pulled holographic for my rares, and on the green code card, I pulled a non-holographic. Weird. I don't know why they do that. I don't know why they do that, but there's been other sets where I've had green code cards, and I've pulled epic pull but when it comes to battle styles i find that is normally true because we pulled a holographic entei and then holographic orbital from the white code cards second and third pack magic i don't have either of them added to the set yet first pack magic i definitely don't have this guy yet definitely don't have this guy yet epic pull epic Cool. We all know that we do have the Chilling Rains dropping in, um, is, today is the 13th, so Chilling Rains will be dropping in 5 days. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my hands on some packs for next week's opening. I would absolutely love to get my hand on, you know, a good little handful of the three blisters of the Chilling Rains, so I can get all the promos. I love collecting all the promos from every set. So, if I don't get it next week, pray I get it within the month, at least within the month while the set is hot. Um, so if you folks aren't getting your hands on to that, at least watch your boy open some Chilling Rains, and we're gonna get, um, hopefully the full Art Celebi, which everybody is going absolutely crazy about or the different forms of the Kylo Rex, which are the Shadow Riders and the Ice Riders. Both epic Pokemon in the game. If you don't play the Sword and Shield game with the expansions, you gotta, you gotta get your hands on that. I completed the Pokedex. Um, I am the Pokemon master when it comes to the Switch games. Started from the Pokemon Blue on a Game Boy Pocket and I've played every single game. I've been in every single game. I haven't completed the Pokedex on all of them, but I have completed the Pokedex on Sword and Shield and X and Y for the 3DS. I did that way long ago. Sold my 3DS off, I got just the Switch, and yeah, with both expansions. So yeah, let's see if we can pull some Kylo Rex in the near um, episodes, so you gotta tune in for that YouTube. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, do it right now. Hit that button, hit that bell for when I do post my episodes every Sunday. I'm going to try to keep it around 12.30 Pacific time. It seems to be the best time that everybody can just jump in. Everybody's had a little bit of their uh, you know, morning coffee. This is my second cup. So I give you folks time to get your morning cereal in you. Watch a couple of episodes of your favorite cartoons. And then tune in to me. And then we get some epic pulls because I come in with a bunch of energy, especially when I pull that first pack magic. Ooh. Beautiful card. I like to thank everybody at this time for tuning in. I got a, I did get a new follower, live follower today. So thank you Atomic for the live follow there. I did get a good handful. It's getting my average up. I still need to make affiliate folks. So that's what I'm trying to work on here. Especially when I got the three viewers up right now, that's keeping my average up. I would love, I wish I had more packs to open. I don't have any more packs to open. I, wait, correction, correction. I did, I had an idea for like some kind of alternative, like TikTok or Instagram or something like that when I did like dollar store packs. And I was gonna do like maybe like a cut, leave it up to the chat whether I open or cut the pack because you never really pull anything crazy from dollar store packs 
but I have pulled some some fun art cards, I guess we'll say. Like, you know, they still have older sets in these. So I got five of them. Okay, so flip them around for you. But since we got the average up here, I got these five. You guys even want to see what is even in these? If, if it's even worth these? Because it's a dollar twenty-five Canadian, Canadian. Remember that for four cards. I think I can pull some at least nostalgic. Maybe something that they didn't think is valuable that is valuable. What if I get like a random base set Charmander or something like that? Who knows? Who knows? Let's go ahead. Let's get it popping. Should I grab scissors? These are going to be in. Incredibly difficult to open. Incredibly difficult. Well, let me get some scissors. Do not go anywhere. Hmm. Can't find my scissors. I gotta find some sharp. I gotta find some sharp because like, this is a good crimp. This is a solid crimp. There's no... My finger is too fat to shove through this. Oh. oh my god. Wow, they really don't want nobody ripping these packs open. Nobody stealing those packs. What kind of trick tip can I do? Can I just, like, rip it open like this? This is not going to work. Oh wait. Maybe? Kind of? A little bit? <laughs> it just gets it to the crimp and then just totally like flakes right off. So, wow, these are, oh, ooh, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. So, it is <laughs> double-sided, so we don't know Wait, how many? Okay, so there's one card here and then three on this side. So let's go three. No, go this way and we're gonna do a flip. Oh, there is a hollow in there, weird. Okay, so we got coughing. Um, don't know what's, I have no idea what set that's from. Let me know in the chat if you know what card uh, these sets are from. But that is a beautiful artwork of the coughing. I love that artwork. I have not seen that before. Weird. We got a ho- Ooh. It's upside down. It's a rare. It's a reverse hollow rare. It's a Gudra. Weird. Okay, so that's, I mean, dollar store pack magic. Reverse hollow rare. Yamper, which is one of my favorites. Clean artwork again. Oh, I got a, a little bit from this set. I don't know what the set's name is. I forget. So we got that, and we got a Cub Chew. Cub Chew from Battle Styles. Not Battle Styles. Vivid Voltage, I think. It's from one of the newer sets. And has my music stopped too? So music stop. Let me get that resumed. Wow, it's. There we go. I don't even know how long the music stopped for. <laughs> that was the end of the video on that one. All right. So we got a reverse hollow. Four more dollar store packs. Can we get more older cards and nice artwork like that? Let's see. Let's. Oh my God, these packs are so difficult to open. Next time I am prepping and getting some Caesars because I don't have anything sharp on me. I mean, I could use my keys. So weird though. There we go, this is gonna be... Wow. Whoever thought that dollar store Pokemon cards would be oh, so difficult to open. I gotta be rough with them. Okay. 
Don't want to waste any time. We got the one card from the front. We're gonna give it a flip. Okay, so we do get we get a reverse follow from every single one. So we got a Pokeball. Yeah, they got that security packaging. That's tight. Pokeball. Ooh, reverse hollow bunk of boot. What is that? Ah, the gorgeous. The gorgeous. Which is the evolution from Punkaboo. We got another Pokeball from a different set? That is an older set because it's uh, the set is printed down in the corner instead of up here where it is on the normal set, the newer sets. See? Just like that. So, yeah, that's when the you can tell it's a newer set. Wow, what? You, that's, wait, no, that's 2018. They switch sides with their... With their sets all the time. This is so weird. Oh wait, that's a 2009. These the sets are all over the place. What's that trying to do? Let's read that. Let's read that. So from 2018, this is when they had the GXs. This is when they moved on from the EX to the GXs before the V cards. So in between EX and V cards, they did GX. So, between turns, put one damage counter on each of uh, Pokemon GX and EX. So, they included GX and EX on this card, which I don't, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that on a card. Where they've included EX and GX. Because usually, like, when I have a trainer card and I read about Vs, they don't include GX or EX. It's usually just Vs. Kind of keep it... Modern, keep it to that era, I guess we'll say, that Pokemon era. Yeah, not V. Because I guess this is before V, this is 2018. Um, God, how long? I think the Vs and V Maxes were introduced when they started doing Sword and Shield. That's, I believe, when they started doing the switch to the Vs and V Maxes in the Pokemon TCG. I believe. Could be wrong. Ugh, oh, rip that. Ugh. Oh. Pokemon still going? Oh, they still walk. I'm just on their epic adventure. Where you guys going right now? Oh, Pikachu. Hey! Hey! Good time to turn around. Good. What do you guys think of throwing on Pokemon in the background, even though there's no audio for it? Like, we still have the music playing. But I just thought I said, you know what, black screen, you go like, some nostalgic Zubats. Is this when Brock catches a Zubat? Are they going to um, the cave where the Clefairies are? Okay, is this our what? Yep. Yeah. One coat card. I already saw the reverse hollow, so I guess we're getting a reverse hollow in every dollar store pack. Let's give it a flip. Let's go. We got. Ooh! We got the Victini. Is that a rare? No, that's an uncommon. Weird for a legendary Pokemon to be not a rare. Kind of rude, actually, if, you, if you're asking me. You're a legendary Pokemon, but you're not a rare card? Mmm. Mmm. You're just uncommon. Rude. Let's keep it going. I don't know why they all put my reverse hollows upside down, but we got another dragon. We got the, um, Haxorus. Reverse hollow. Is he a rare? Yeah, he's a rare. Most, uh, stage three cards are rares. So they make your stage one Pokemon common, stage two the uncommon, and stage three your rare. So we got the stage three Haxorus. Reverse Hollow, what set is that from? 2019. 2019, that looks like the dra one of the dragon subsets when they first introduced this type to the TCG. I'm guessing. I'm guessing I could be wrong. If you know in the chat, let me know. If you know what set. 2019. Yeah, 2019. Couple more cards behind it. We have the the Pinchurin. That's from a newer set. I still got that set. Pack openings going on. I know. What year is this? 2020. Is this a uh, Champions Pass? I believe. Rotom Bike. Who got Champions Pass? Decent, decent. We pull in a bunch of Reverse Hollows in here. Rares too. Is that gorgeous or rare too? Yeah, all three of my reverse hollows are rares. What? From dollar store packs. I was expecting a whole lot less. A lot less. And we still got two packs to go. 
we still got people watching, so I mean, who knows? What if we get some real, like, an old card? An old card. Because I do believe, I I could be wrong, My I've had this card for a while, but my first edition, Rocket Charmander, this guy right here, yes, it isn't a hard sleeve, because it is a first edition Rocket Charmander, I believe I got this guy from a dollar store pack. Like, a long time ago. I could be wrong. That's why I went with him, because my memory is saying that I pulled this guy from a dollar store pack. And since sometimes it can be almost impossible to find booster packs, I thought, well, while they're available, Let's get some dollar store packs, because you never know. What if I pull what if I pull another one right now to prove my case? What if I pull another first edition rocket charmander? First edition rocket squirtle, maybe? That would be sick. That would be some epic last pack magic. Because those are actually valuable. Older sets, starter Pokemon, first edition. Nostalgic artwork. Your favorite Pokemon. Okay. Ooh. It's going down. Everything's working. Awesome. Three cards from the back. Let's give it a flip. Reverse hollow is going to be upset. You know what? Should I give it like a pre-flip without looking? I'm not looking. You guys are looking. I know you're looking. So let's go. Let's nope. We got one more pack after this. We got an ink. And our reverse hollow is going to be the seismitoad. Again, another rare from 2019. Decent. And all these cards are in great shape, too. Oh, and now they're going to be upside down. Team Galactic? That's an old... That's the Galactic Headquarters, 2009. So whenever any player plays any Pokemon from his or her hand to evolve... So... This is a stadium card. If you're going to evolve a Pokemon, you're putting two damage counters on that Pokemon. So, if I'm going to be playing a deck that has a lot of just straight up basic Pokemon, this is the stadium card I'm going to be playing. I think I'm going to build a deck that is just basic Pokemon and I can play this and it's like, well, if you want to evolve in this game, you don't be doing some damage. I like that. I like that card. That is... Mm, oh, that could win some games. And then we got a Bell Sprout. What? I like that artwork. I have never seen that Bell Sprout before. From 2018. Cool. I like that. So, pulling sick old stadium cards and reverse hollow rares. Not bad for a dollar twenty-five. Dollar twenty-five, well spent. And all five of these packs actually cost me the price of one modern set booster pack. And actually, the amount of time I've spent just opening these packs, I've probably opened three battle styles packs in that amount of time. So this is the last pack magic. Can we pull anything super nostalgic right now? Three cards. We're going to do the flip here. Last pack magic, dollar store magic, who knows? Let's go. Ooh, Arbok. Oh my god. That artwork, 2020. I love that artwork. It's not, is it gonna zoom in? I mean, the uh, focus there. It doesn't look too bad. But that is beautiful. Clean, clean artwork. Reverse Hollow is going to be upside down. Ooh, whoa. Hold up. Okay, that looked a lot older. That looked a lot older. This is a 2018 Steelix. Like, you can, by just that artwork, it looks like Neo Genesis, right? Like, the OG. Beautiful artwork, I love. I love that, and it is another rare. Decent. For Last Pack Magic, I'll take that. Steelix is one of my favorites. 
We do got two more cards behind. We got a combi. Yeah, we got the combi. This is from 2009 when they put the level of the Pokemon up beside its name. Weird. And then we got a Chinchow. Chinchow from 2018. That's a weird artwork. It, it looked like it was kind of done with like a crayon. It was like the scribbles and stuff. Weird. Cool. Well, that is, a, okay, that's officially all my packs open there. So, let's go over what we did pull today. Where is he? There he is. Chilling in his own little corner. We got the Tyranitar. Mmm. We pulled big fire today. That was the first pack magic and really set the energy for today's episode. So, again, thanks to the bear for calling the first pack magic. He smelled it. He knew that this was going to be some absolute fire in that pack. Then after that, we did pull two hollows in a rare. We got the NK, we got the Orbeetle. Don't have those, so that is a first time added to the set. NK is my favorite legendary, so, you know, great energy on that. Love the artwork. Beautiful corners. I might even, like, throw this guy in a hard sleeve and just, like, leave it as, like, a display card somewhere. Or do some kind of something with it. I want to do something with it. So let's see what we'll do with the NK card. Great pulls. A bunch of people dropped in today. So I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in today for Sunday, for six Sunday pack opening and chill. Um, so I'm gonna go out now. Go see if I can find some more packs because, well, I opened everything. I got a little bit of a mess to clean up, as I always do, because I'm never kind of gentle when I rip the packs and I just throw plastic and cardboard everywhere. Maybe not have any more of this iced coffee. Ah. Again, folks, if you're watching on Twitch right now, live, throw up a follow. Throw up a purple heart in the chat one more time if you enjoyed today's episode. Normally got the purple nails, but today we got a little funky because of the previous stream with the nail paints. I might do that again. That was pretty chill. Um, if you guys want to tune into that, let me know in the chat if you guys thought that was a cool idea and you want to do that again. Play some more music, get funky with the nails. I leave it up to the chat what I'm going to do with the nails, so we'll see. Um, but I am going to be sticking to Pokemon pack openings for the weekend. Going to try for every Saturday. If I do, I will be making um, pre-posts, I guess we'll say, on my Instagram, S-I-C underscore for when I am saying I am going live, I will be start doing um, more of a head, a more of a heads up. Normally, I do like a 15, 20 minutes. Hey, I'm setting up. I'm going live. Link in the bio kind of thing. But now I want to set up more of a confirmed schedule. Oh, there's a Coochie with the purple heart. Thanks, Coochie, for the purple heart. Thanks for tuning in. As always, Coochie, you're the best. Um, what was I saying? Totally forgot what I was saying. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Schedules. Schedules. Um, yeah. Instagram, SIC underscore for all my confirmed um, streaming posts, my streaming times. Um, I, I do want to confirm right here, right now, and say six Sunday pack opening and chill is going to be a confirm every Sunday, roughly around 12, 1230 Pacific time. Depending if I can get up on time, because I'm going to be honest with you, I don't set an alarm. I do not set an alarm on Sundays. I work all week. I am just an average Joe working your Monday to Fridays, and I got weekends off where I do. This is my thing. On Sunday, I like to go upstairs, put on some Pokemon, grab some iced coffee, open some packs, tune in with my friends, let them drop a purple heart down in the comments. So Sunday is going to be a confirmed six sun six. A little, little bit of a tongue tongue here. Six, six Sunday pack opening and chill. Every Sunday afternoon, 12 to 12.30. Let's shoot 12 o'clock Pacific time. Let me know if 12.30 works better for you guys. I want it to be for you guys. And the reason why I chose the weekend at this time is because this is when I get the most people jump in. So that's why I'm working with it. So only, again, only two months into this whole streaming business. So I'm still trying to figure out what are the best times the best content, even just the best way to shoot. Because again, this is only my second time doing the whole face cam thing. 
Normally I would do it just with my nails, but it was really, it worked last time with the face cam. So we're doing, we're gonna, we're gonna stick with that. It's a better, better way to, it seems more of a more chill environment, I guess we'll say. More people like to stay and chill when they can, when they see this, when they see me, instead of just looking at my nails and a couple of cards. So let me know if, that, if this is an improvement in the sick channel. I think so. I like it. I feel more connected with you. Oh, that was a fluff. Where'd that come from? Yeah, oh, Sasuke fluffs everywhere. Oh. All right, well, I think that about wraps it up. We just passed the hour mark on the live stream. No more packs to open. I need to go out and get more packs for next Sunday. Um, maybe I'll do a little Apex later this evening. Um, We'll see how my adventure goes on getting more packs for next week. But let me know in the comments below um, whether you want to see me do some Apex, you want to see me do more Left 4 Dead like I did last night, do some more Skate 3 like I did last night. I did two streams yesterday of Left 4 Dead, excuse me, Left 4 Dead and Skate 3. The Skate 3 one was really popping. That was a great stream. So if you guys want to see me do more Skate 3, let me know. And I also got SSX. Self-titled, I guess we'll say for the Xbox One. So if you guys want to see me shred it on the powder, let me know in the comments below. I'm trying to find, you know, a couple more games and maybe do some Rocket League. I haven't done Rocket League in a long time. So if you guys want to see me try to do some Rocket League, again, let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see me do. Or maybe even jump back into Dark Souls. I haven't done Dark Souls in a while. I have been doing some Dark Souls non-streaming just to see if I could play better because I got, was starting to get frustrated when I play online. Well, on stream, I meant to say. So I thought I'd jump in and play, you know, offline. No headset, just me, myself, focus. Let's kill some gargoyles. And I actually killed two of them. When on stream, I've never killed any of them. So I do play Dark Souls better um, offline. So we'll see. Maybe just stick it with Skate 3 during the weekdays. Kind of like the sporty games. A nice chill. Um, we'll see how it goes with um, you guys in the comments and what you guys think of what content is the most enjoyable to watch. Um, that wraps it up. No more packs to open. I'm out of here. I gotta go get more packs. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. I love you all. I appreciate you are all certified sick in my eyes. There's a bear dropping thunderbolts. I'm tuning off. And until that next episode, everybody, stay sick.